What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Robin Alex here, ready to react to season one, episode number 10 of Lucifer. In the last episode, we saw Lucifer get gain a best friend, which hmm? nobody would have ever seen coming in, in, in a fucking priest. But he obviously got close with him. He died in the end, and that really affected Lucifer and uh, his relationship with his father, God. <laughs> At least I'd, I think so. But we also saw... Uh, Chloe, in the end, she, her, and Dan wanted to kind of start fresh it, and yeah, see it's where like things the, go. It feels as if they're trying to rekindle things. But when she realized Lucifer was vast, like very affected by this death, she went to go kind of console him. And I, I liked that moment. I thought that really was a nice moment for them. Yeah, it was a good moment, and it shows that there's a genuine friendship between the two now. It's not just about Lucifer trying to get in her pants. Yeah, or not that he's not going to keep trying. Right. Or it's not just about like the partnership at work. So there's that. Um, shit. Uh, um, Amenadiel's an asshole. Um, oh, he yeah. We got the reveal that the reason he brought Malcolm back was uh, to kill Lucifer. Yeah. And the motivation for him to do that is the fact that he let Malcolm sit in hell for, I guess, 30, 30 seconds, seconds to experience what it would be like. And now Malcolm doesn't want to go back. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's a fair uh, assumption to accept the fact that someone who was in hell not want to go back. But, you know, it's pretty fucked up that everything he's doing. Not a lot from um, the therapist. What's her name? Dr. It was Dr. Martin or Linda. Linda. Okay. Not a lot. Not a lot for her from her in the last uh, episode or two. Hopefully yeah, she more. was re she was really just there to sort of set up the theme for the episode. Yeah, hopefully there's more in this one. I really do like her dynamic with Lucifer. So uh, yeah, let's just uh, let's get it started. You know, there's only one way to pick the perfect strawberry. Are you talking to me? <laughs> yes, of course. Why not? Now, most people think it's just about the outside, you know, the uh, shape and color. But they're just like us. Sneaky little devils hiding tasty secrets inside. Mm. You like that? Oh, God! Really? <laughs> to bring him up now? I mean, we were having a moment. <laughs> Lucifer. So what the fuck? What are you doing? Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know. Right, so what have we got? Oh, this is an interesting one. He made the most exquisite Mexican cuisine I've ever had, and now... Huh. Oh. It's okay. It's home, huh? Taste is perfect to us <laughs> again. So this isn't about the man, this is about your stomach. This is about a crime against good taste, detective. Well, someone definitely needs to be punished for this. According to the grocers, he came here every morning after having breakfast at his I mean, restaurant. Lucifer only really cares when it affects him in some way. Yeah, I've noticed that. Oh, and sometimes it's like the most minuscule way, but it's fun. It's great. I mean, the man was a visionary. With a hell of a temper, by all accounts. Everyone at the restaurant's a suspect. We need to interview all of his employees and do a full sweep for toxins. Everyone here saw him as a father figure. Oh, this is much more interesting now. Why? Oh, my dear detective, this is patricide. It's a tale as old as time. You know, Oedipus, the Menendez brothers, huh. Voldemort. Voldemort. <laughs> yes. I know after what happened to Father Frank, you're mad at, um... You can say it. God. My dad. <laughs> sure. Oh my God! Yeah. I just don't want you projecting onto this case. There's so many reasons to commit murder. Don't let your um, daddy issues cloud your judgment. <laughs> that was good. I understand what it's like to want to escape the clutches of a difficult father. That's all. Oh no. Hi, sweetie. Guess who's back? Oh, what a pleasant surprise. Detective, you never told me you had such a radiant sister. It's because I don't. And who is this handsome devil? No way. Mom, this is Lucifer. Lucifer, why? Sorry, it's speechless. Penelope Decker. Wow. As I live and breathe, the vampire queen. Yeah. Why? Wow, are you a real He's vampire? He's starstruck. You certainly don't look old enough to have a daughter this age. <laughs> How old are you, detective? Honey, you're in <laughs> She does not look happy. Oh, oh, stop. stop. Mom. What are you doing here? Oh, you know how exhausting those convention circuits can be. I just wanted to get home. Mom, I mean here. 
at my job. Hey, Mom, can we talk about this later? Well, sure. Okay. What about a family dinner tonight? Family dinner. That's right. It's been ages. Eat. You never have. And Lucifer, <laughs> you have to come. No, that's really not. Oh, that's not going to go over well. Oh, great. I'm guessing well, then I'll she's including Dan tonight. in this too. Tonight. I love you, Cupid. <laughs> Mama Decca. I loved him. Pops was like a father to me. He was such a nice man. I wonder what any of these right. people's like actual he fathers want to say about this. He threw things. <laughs> he threw things a lot. Where were you this morning? But he was like a father to you, right? I'm always here. Pops worked me to the bone. The taskmaster was it? No matter what you gave him, it wasn't enough. It wasn't. And I gave him a lot. Oh shit. To the bone, indeed. Yeah, he cared about his people. He was like a father to you. Yes, we've heard that one before. He was my father. This is Javier's son, Junior. I don't work here anymore. I've, I've been away a while. I came over as soon as I got the call. So let me guess, you tried to follow in his footsteps? Yeah, I, I trained as a chef, yeah. And dad was domineering, acted like a god in the kitchen. <laughs> Dude. Yeah. No idea. Oh, you'd be surprised. I was never <laughs> gonna go up to him. So I, I just I rejected everything he stood for. Yeah. I gave up cooking. I hit the road. Which is why I'm curious about your return. Was there something that you wanted to do when you came back? I, I don't know. Like, oh, come now. The prodigal son returns to his overbearing father. What could you possibly desire? I'll run in. Yeah. To have one more meal with my dad. <clears throat> so you just got into town. That's where Lucifer yeah, loses any uh, Did you know anything in common with this guy. Yeah. Happens a lot. Dad had them bring out our usual. So we were actually getting along for once. Uh, after we finished eating, Dad left to do his pick about the market. We were supposed to meet up later tonight. Said he had something he wanted to tell me. Isn't that a coincidence? Boy returns home and conveniently his pops drops the next day. <sighs> Rugged bastard. <laughs> what <laughs> the fuck, dude? Well, maybe this is about something more than anger, which they all had. But if Junior I know this friend doesn't get humans, but come on. Yeah. Not everyone's trying to kill their dad. Well, I'm glad you decided to come here. But hey. I'm not sure this... Is appropriate. Why? Well, Lucifer's your boss and a client of mine. I can recommend you to no, someone else. I like you. Do I need to sleep with you too? What? <laughs> I, no. No, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> really, I'm good. What I can give you is my advice. So, if we want to feel more connected to our environment, sometimes it's helpful if we actively embrace it and those around you. That still sounds like sex. Okay, I meant uh, <laughs> engage in caring and meaningful relationships. Making friends. Forget it. This was a mistake. Mazikeen. Wait. Hey, if Lucifer can make friends with a priest. Yeah. What just happened? Almost anything can happen. You want to kill Lucifer? Why? If I told you. Why do I feel I like promise, Dan's suddenly gonna be on board? You wouldn't huh. believe me. But before you go growing any more balls, remember this. You thinking about taking another shot at me? Trying to take me down? Don't miss. Well, he didn't the last time, right? <laughs> like, <laughs> well, I mean, he, he wasn't able to, like, get him fatally, though. Oh, I mean, they pulled the plug. It's just Can't he got right. lucky. I just saw Pops this morning. He was fine. And you cooked his last meal. Is that right? So? You know how many people had their hands on that plate? Well, this is your kitchen, Anne. When Pops isn't here, you run the show. And from what I understand, you're not someone to be messed with. So you really think someone's going to go behind your back? I can't control what they do. Who knows what kind of psychos we have. Well, are any of these psychos set to inherit the restaurant like you are? Mm. Well... If you didn't wish your dear old pops ill, what did you wish? To surpass him. 
Ah, so the student becomes the master, eh? Wait, no, it's not like that. <laughs> Preliminary talk screen came in. The poison used to kill Javier was mercury. Oh, so it cracked open a few thermometers over brunch, did you? <laughs> not the trick I'd use, but clearly effective. There was something else in his system, too. Can I see the inside of your arms? Aye. Track marks. Ah, so there was heroin as well. Generous killer, are you? Wanted to give him a little high on the way out. <laughs> this is crazy. No, <laughs> I don't think you, that was... If it's heroin, you should talk to... I'm sorry. Don't worry. I tend to have a rather striking effect on women. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> let it all out. Oh, shit. Someone call an He's worried about his suit. I've never had that effect. <laughs> you mean Junior? Well, he seemed like a very troubled young man to me. Yeah. It's almost as if his dad just died. <laughs> and look who decided to grace us with his douchedom. Daniel? Hey, did you find something? A Naomi Austin. She worked as a hostess here last year until she was fired. She has two arrests for heroin possession over the last year alone. Poor girl doesn't learn her lesson, does she? Naomi Austin, that name sounds familiar. Oh, okay. So one of the cooks said that she showed up two days ago and was yelling at Javier and Anne, so I'll see if her PO has an address. It's already in the file. Look at you two, like Cagney and Lacey. <laughs> you don't care who you piss off, do you? Not in the slightest, no. <laughs> hey, he's honest. Oh, wait. Um, Dan, I'm... And Dan sucks, so, so okay. Uh, yeah. If you don't have plans tonight, <laughs> my mom is having this family dinner. And you could really use a buffer. Yeah. Sure. You gonna tell him that Lucifer's gonna be there? All right. Detective, do you mind if we make a stop on the way? I mean, this shirt's more of a loner, really. Can you hear that? Yeah. And since when has that bothered you? Oh, God. And dear old dad. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. It's kind of funny. Well, it's easy for you to say. You're not the one being taunted, are you? Oh, God, this. Oh, God, that. He's popping up everywhere and spoiling my favorite things. She's like a child. Oh, well, I bet it drove you crazy. Yeah. All she wanted was to doll me up and take me to auditions. Would make anyone mad with rage. She made everything about her. So you could just murder her. Sure, <laughs> but I didn't. And you're still not proving your point about Junior. <laughs> Fair enough. He's trying. So, how did you handle it anyway, you know, besides taking your anger out on criminals? I don't know. I guess I just always tried to focus on something else. This is weird. Painting just became far more valuable. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, hey, they're home. Hello, Naomi. Who the hell are you? Heroin inspector. I'm afraid your spoons aren't up to standard, so. Hold on. We have some questions for you. What happened with you at breakfast? Nothing. I wasn't even at breakfast. Junior wanted to see his dad alone. I went to see my sponsor. I've been having a tough time of it lately. All right, until we can confirm that, we need you to come down to the station. Uh, why, pray tell, did Junior want to see his dad alone? He just said that he wanted to make it right. That all he needed to do was confront his father and settle things. Uh, uh. Hmm. You don't think that... He killed him. Well, Junior told us he wanted to have one more meal with his dad. It seems he did. A rather final one. No, no, you did the right thing. I'm on my way. They find Junior. No, I gotta go. But we've a killer to catch. And he will. This is an emergency. Detective, come on! Is it an emergency, though? You've got to stop doing that! <laughs> How many times has she done that? Anna says we're gonna be in a movie. <laughs> Where is she? Gone, obviously. She was just here. Trixie! Door's wide open. Trix? Trixie! Trixie! She's gone. Is this for here? How did she know? How are you supposed to be? I'm Trixie, his friend. His friends get worse and worse. <laughs> Hate to break it to you, but he's not here. That's okay. Oh, wait.
What the hell? So, what do you want with Lucifer? What do you want to be? I want to be the first person on Mars. Or a zookeeper. Mm -hmm. I used to be a zookeeper. In a way. <laughs> really? Yeah, kind of. That's so cool. <laughs> Is this a shrine temple? Sure. Huh. Don't let her drink that. Trixie! Thank God you're okay. What were you thinking running away like that? I wanted to see Lucifer, but he wasn't here. So I made a new friend. Oh, there you go. Character Maze. development, Maze. That's how it works. You can call me Maze. Thank you, Maze. Not gonna question why she was about to drink that. <laughs> right. How does it feel? You didn't go home. <laughs> I mean, you're about to be arrested, but that's a good point. I never thought of that. He just stayed there. Talking about your father. You killed him. Tell me all about it. <laughs> Is the air a little sweeter? Is the sun a little brighter? I didn't kill my dad, man. Oh come on. Why return to dispose of the murder weapon then? The heroin. Sorry, it's all gone. Please took it away for testing. Well, most of it. No, I came for this. You didn't kill him, did you? Of course not. <laughs> he just doesn't get it. Yeah. So you want to arrest me or what? Well, he's not a cop. Yeah, he can't do that. Hi, Trixie. I'm so glad you're back. Listen, Nana needs to explain something. Mom, let's just have dinner, okay? Hey, hey, hey. Dan, what a pleasant surprise. And you brought dessert. So thoughtful. Not it's homemade, always. of course. <laughs> Fucking lazy oh, piece I forgot. Of he did He did promise uh, Trixie amazing. chocolate cake every day, remember? Yeah, Mom, oh, yeah, that's right. Nice home-cooked meal. Oh, there's no takeout tonight. Lucifer has provided the meal. <laughs> Wait, Lucifer's here? Yeah. He and his friend have been here for a while. His friend? Ah, detective. Just in time. Now you remember Junior, of course. <laughs> Just wait until you taste his mole. It is to die for. <laughs> <laughs> Stopped eating meat while backpacking through India. So I had to get creative with my dishes. This is my vegetarian take on Oaxacan mole with the tart vegan cream fresh. Sounds so exotic. I cannot wait to dig in. Mom, don't eat that. Why not? She's worried it might be poisoned. You are? Oh, that's right. Let's catch you up, shall we? Um, <laughs> I brought Junior here tonight because Detective Decker believes that he killed his father. You do? What are you doing? But I believe he was after something far more <laughs> Now. Reconciliation. That's right. I didn't kill my dad. Do you have proof? Just my word. Well, we might need something more than that. Come on, detective. You said yourself you may want to kill your mother, but you don't oh, so you do want it. To kill me. <laughs> Just because I have makeup on your daughter. No, because she thinks you're a child and forced her to grow up too quickly. Dude. <laughs> Am I wrong? You are way out of line there. Hey, shut your fucking mouth. goes leaping to her defense again. You guys sound just like me and my dad. We used to fight all the time over the dumbest stuff. That's why I left. But. No matter what I did, I couldn't get away. You know, because every time I cooked a meal or I looked in the mirror, there he was staring back at me. That's a tad bit creepy. <laughs> because it's part of me, man. You know, he may have pushed me too hard and, and tried to make me something that I'm not, but in the end, he made me the man I am. I wanted one reason to stick up for you. Just one. Let's go, pal. You gonna question him on that? Yeah. Like that what? What, what, is he, what is he talking about? I've suddenly lost my appetite. Absolutely. I hope you're happy. No, actually, I'm extremely disappointed. Because you ruined dinner? No, because Junior's answer was spectacularly unhelpful. <laughs> he didn't escape his father because he turned into him. I mean, that doesn't apply to me at all. It's not about you, man. <laughs> The lab called the heroin that we found at Naomi's doesn't match the kind that killed Javier. 
So if Junior didn't kill his dad, why use heroin? To frame him, maybe? Yeah, I thought about that too, but the only person with motive got poisoned herself. Unless she knew exactly how much to give herself. Creating all the gruesome symptoms, but without the finale. But the restaurant was hers, so... Why would she do it? I don't know, maybe Pops had a change of heart? Decided to bring Junior back into the fold after he found out he changed and was coming home? Yeah, this is Detective Decker. I'm calling about a patient, Ann Martin. Yeah. That's a brilliant hiding place. No wonder the police couldn't find it earlier. What are you doing here? Well, we'd ask you the same question, but we already know you're destroying evidence. Because you killed Javier. I told you I would <laughs> never do anything to hurt Javier. You seem genuinely upset. Like you didn't want Javier to die. You humans are quite the paradox, aren't you? You're always killing your loved ones and then... The poison wasn't meant for him. You meant to kill Junior, didn't you? What? Oh, hence the drugs. He'd die a grisly death, and we'd assume he simply got a bad fix. Oh, that is very clever. Shit. Are you okay? This place can't possibly be up to code. We gotta get <laughs> out of here. <laughs> That's what he said. There's nowhere to go. <laughs> I feel like that's not what you should be oh, getting from this. Yeah. No, this is not how it goes down. Not by a long shot, Dad. Listen, if you have any ideas. Now's the time. You're the devil. I was gonna say, walk through. <laughs> you can put me down. <laughs> Happy now? Anne was arrested a few blocks away, so mm. she'll be eating prison slop for a long time to come. Ah, her own personal hell, indeed. Thank you for getting me out. Well. Exactly, rush out of there alone. How would that look? That's it. No thanks for saving me first. Is that what happened? It's funny. It's all so fuzzy now. Must be the third degree burns. <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe he's gone. When did he, he get there? Where your dad never yeah. got to tell you. He was going to leave you the restaurant all along. If you even want it. I think I do. And maybe I could rebuild it. You know, make it my own. I made a friend today. That's fantastic news. Who? An eight-year-old girl who wandered into the bar. Well, <laughs> that's surprising. A start. Yeah. Perhaps the next one can be of legal drinking age. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was thinking the same thing. So, are you busy tonight? It's awfully late to be calling a meet, huh? This dude's always fucking eating. You were right. <laughs> this from Morningstar is insane and dangerous. And he deserves everything he gets. Well, that works out perfectly. <laughs> but I can't let you kill him. Come on, man. I mean, we talked about this. You know, I go down, you go down, then I go down. What do you mean by that? It's too bad. Yeah, all right. Like on each other? What's, what's going on? I we had <laughs> something really special going. Go to hell. Yeah, he was already there. <laughs> Didn't like it. for you you said the door's always open and i'm walking through it she's drunk mm. well, well, i was just on my way out to meet the britneys but <laughs> i suppose they can occupy each other great oh, shit and 
have a seat. Just like the third mention of the Britneys. I'm guessing by the looks of it with Dan, perhaps? Mm. You mean Detective Douche? <laughs> Yes, well, of course, that's what I mean. But the bigger question here is, why do you mean We that? weren't even back together. And he ended it with me tonight. With a text. I mean, what are we, in high school? Well, we're certainly drinking like we are. Uh, what's happening? It would seem that I'm saying no. But you've been trying to get me into bed since day one. Why are you saying no? Well, frankly, Great my dear, I'm as baffled as you are. I mean, usually I'd leap at the chance <laughs> to fulfill my carnal desire, but for some reason I can't. What am I doing? Why am I here drunk throwing myself at you? Can you stop that? Well, it happens to the best, I promise. <laughs> but not to me. I don't do this. This is something my mom would do. We don't all turn into our parents, detective. I mean, look at me. I don't think I've ever been the son that he wants me to be. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, there we have it. Episode number 10 of season one of Lucifer. Really good episode. Uh, the more we watch the show, the uh, more I really do enjoy the show. It's really good. Um, obviously the murder of the week was the protege against the, she tried to kill the son who was going to inherit the restaurant and that just backfired because she didn't mean to kill him, but she did. Stupid bitch. That's why you don't try to kill people in the first place. <laughs> I mean, uh, there are lots of reasons why you shouldn't be trying to kill people in the first place, but yes, yeah. this is one of those potential, uh, mishaps, I guess. Yeah. Um, got a lot to see lucifer is really starting to come into his own like development wise a lot of a lot of daddy issues and i've noticed that um he does this thing where he goes down like when he's questioning people like when he was questioning junior he was doing that thing where he's trying to blame get him he egging him on blame the dad blame the dad right like oh that means you want to murder him right and then like they because like he said no it like reels him back in Right, because he doesn't understand the yeah, hum humanity and like their feelings and all that shit. Yeah, Lucifer has all these like preconceived notions of how people are, and I mean, it, it's almost as if he expects these people to be just like him in some sort of a way. Yeah, like, uh, so when, especially in this case, when he was trying to lead him down, like his exact mindset, and then when once it diverged, it just pulled him out of it. Yeah. It happens a lot, actually. Almost every episode. Obviously, like, different situations, but same thing. Um, yep, uh, let's see. Maze made friends with Trixie, which yeah. was interesting. That was kind of weird. <laughs> um, Chloe, she, her and her mom obviously have a, a weird relationship similar to that of Lucifer to where he can kind of understand, and I thought it was um, strange. Well, not strange. kind of makes sense. Uh, when she went in at the end to go and try to throw herself at Lucifer, how he reacted, you know, not pulling the trigger with that. It's like, yeah, he's... I mean, it, it shows growth in his character. Yeah. That he didn't and he didn't just take advantage I wanted to sleep with her once he was given the chance. Yeah, I'm wondering if it means he truly, like, has feelings for her just yet or if it's just, like, like you said, slowly just becoming a better person. I mean, it could be a bit of both. Yeah. Let's see. Um, Dan tried. Uh, Dan. Well, Malcolm revealed to Dan that his he, intention to yeah. kill Lucifer. Dan seemed to be on board to uh, at a certain point, and then changed his mind at the last second. Yeah. And then they got into a scuffle, where what's his name? Malcolm. Malcolm got the better hand and then sent that text to uh, Chloe, Chloe, obviously. So, Which led to her going to Lucifer's apartment, you know, everything we saw at the end there. Yeah, I wonder if that's going to play into the next episode as well. Because clearly, it, it 
it's not gonna stop at that one little scuffle. Like, there's obviously he's probably holding him somewhere, whatever. Yeah, Dan got knocked out, and who the hell knows what's happening to him now? Yeah, so it might be an episode or two, two parter possibly. I have no idea. Just guessing. Um, and then we saw at the end also there that uh, Linda and Maze are possibly gonna have a little friendship inside and outside of the therapist's office. Possibly. I don't know. It looked like she invited her out. Yeah, so. Bunch of stuff going on. I'm really enjoying the show. Learning a lot about it. About Lucifer. And the development of all these characters. Pretty fun. Uh, Hopefully you guys enjoyed our reactions. Uh, Obviously there's another one next week. Um, If you haven't already, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. And hit that notification bell as well. So with all that being said, we will see you guys in the next one. Later, guys.